Professor Attila Brungs graduated from the University of New South Wales with first class honours and the University Medal in Industrial Chemistry and completed his doctorate at Oxford University as a Rhodes Scholar. Following senior roles at McKinsey and CSIRO, he joined UTS as Deputy Vice-Chancellor Research in 2009 and last year was appointed as Vice-Chancellor and President of UTS. Please welcome Professor Attila Brungs. Good morning and again on a very cold morning I give a warm welcome to UTS to everybody here. It's a pleasure to see so many people here, and particularly with all the global participants we have, a real pleasure to be able to welcome you to our brand new campus, so you can see firsthand the development of all the new buildings we have. These were intended to and are already inspiring new ideas, innovation, collaborative spaces for debate, exchange between our students, our industry partners, and the public. Creating new physical spaces, which we've done right across the campus, supports our ambition to become a world-leading university of technology, helping us not only reinvent traditional learning, but by bringing together talented minds and collaborators, help us deliver impact for the real world. And this conference is another example of where you will have impact on the real world. Thus, we are delighted to partner with UNSW Australia and the World Resources Forum to host the first ever World Resources Forum Asia Pacific Forum. The World Resources is, a, is the leading global organisation dedicated to setting the agenda and developing solutions on sustainable use of resources by importantly building bridges between decision makers, science, industry leaders and civil society. And in an era I think we have now of polarised politics, these bridges are more important than ever to get solutions. The topic of resource productivity and innovation is an essential one for our Asia Pacific region. We absolutely need innovation, as I'm sure you all know. We need new modes of production, consumption, which respect our planetary boundaries, which replenish the health of our communities and our environment. We need new momentum for the industry-university collaborations. Universities have a very strong role to play in orientating our collective vision towards sustainability over the long term. But not only through our ideas and our partnerships with industry, not only through our students who go out themselves and change the world and make the world a better place, but also in our very operations. At UTS, I'm pleased that our new campus embodies our commitment to sustainability. We built three brand new buildings in the last year, all of them are at least five star, green star rated. But they're all very exciting. The new engineering building, literally just across there, has thousands of sensors, all mostly experimental sensors from our own research groups that can monitor the use of the building and how it's sustainable over many, many years. Similarly, the one behind us, the new chemistry and science and health precinct, is one of the only wet labs that managed to get a six star, green star rated building. All of these are part of our commitment to try and make sure that sustainability is built into the very operations of our university as well. As a passionate advocate for innovation, I'm very pleased to have today here New South Wales Chief Scientist and Engineer, Professor Mary O'Kane, here to officially open the forum in a few minutes. She is one of the drivers of innovation in the state and has made a huge difference to New South Wales during her tenure. Furthermore, I'm pleased by the continued commitment and partnership with the CSIRO, and it's an absolute delight to have Alexander Wanhas here as the opening keynote today. The genesis of the UTS involvement in the co-organisation of this conference stems from our leadership of the CSIRO flagship collaboration cluster on wealth from waste with the University of Queensland, Swinburne, Monash, Jail, and builds on early ISF involvement with both mineral futures and the intelligent grid clusters. The flagship program is one of the most important in Australia. These collaborations of CSIRO and universities in industry across the country are tackling some of the biggest challenges facing the nations, such as the wealth from waste cluster. Such challenges also require global collaborations and global innovation, and this is reflected by the very global outlook of today's discussions and the global participants we have. We have speakers from Japan, the US, Indonesia and Europe. Global issues being discussed and tackled over the next few days here in Sydney. So I'd like to thank all the speakers and everybody involved in pulling together this forum. I know it was not an easy task and you have my great congratulations. And again, I wish you a very warm welcome to UTS and every success in the coming days of the forum. I look forward to hearing from the game-changing ideas that will come out of the next few days. But finally, and most importantly, it's my pleasure to welcome Auntie Joan Tranter, the UTS Eldon Residence, to give the proper acknowledgement of country and welcome to UTS. Thank you very much. Thank you. 